What's going on guys? Martian Fan 2010 here and today we're here with the second run of the show. The Martian Fan 2010's uh coming uh trees of the 2023 Martian season. As we're doing freestyle again, like we've been doing the entire season. I plan on doing this for the entire 2023 season. We're here at Houston, Texas. And uh yeah, fill their tracks to show every screen. And uh yeah. Give them to Dave Oflake, I think, in the Lost Raptor. Nice start. <coughs> Excuse me. This sounds really that sounded really disgusting, didn't it? Nice air. Yeah, newer truck on the schedule, and I I am just sorry though. The, this truck looks absolutely disgusting. Like it looks absolutely disgusting. Got some great air over the uh, stuff up. But, uh, yeah, this thing is definitely one of the most disgusting creations film has ever released. Nice air over the race lane. Oh, and it broke the wheel off. <laughs> ah, it probably deserves it. Yes, yeah, the knuckle and uh, entire wheel wells are probably just snapped and broke. Actually, it for Dave Oakley, and uh, okay, I guess he did feel enough of the clock to get scored. It's not close to win, but uh, yeah, luckily, Velociraptor is down. Yeah, that thing looks absolutely hideous. Absolutely hideous. Had a nice run going up to that point. Gets a nice air right there. But uh. There it is right there, 7.491 for Dave Oflet. F O Oflet. Offler. Alright. Now here comes Chris Kohler in the axe. So Chris Kohler will be in this truck along as the other events. For some reason Jim Kohler can make up for uh, personal issues. The, yeah. There we go. Chris Kohler. The son of Jim Kohler. Is the nephew of Steve Kohler. You guys don't know Steve Kohler. He worked on the Team Street Trucks for a long time. Finally got a chance to drive his own the wrecking crew for a couple years. Which is now the rage, uh, Chelsea. You know. Nice start right there for Steve Kohler in the axe truck. Last time out, he absolutely destroyed this thing trying to do a double backflip. He's almost landed it. But, uh, yeah. There's a car area stack that's there. You see, it got hit. There are cars still here. A little bit. There's not much, though. Go to, oh, no, no. Oh, no. He rolled on the lid. Oh, he saved it. Oh, he almost saved it. He it caught, the, uh, caught in the ruts, and it rolled over. He almost got back on all fours. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so he did not score enough or didn't feel enough of the clock to actually um, get scored. Unfortunately, Chris Kohler. But here comes Mark Lesson and El Toro Loco, the two-wheel skills winner, and going for a chance to get the event victory. Nice start and a nice wheelie. Oh, no, uh-oh. Wow, he almost got did the exact same thing Chris Kohler just did. Yeah, the dirt's definitely, compared to what Arlington gave, a lot more attacky. So, you know, not exactly this. We have Mark List uh, had a nice run, and there you go. This is what he's doing well. Nice, perfect, nice job for Mark List, and he's going to continue going. Now this right here gets you some points. Nice job, right there, Mark List and the El Toro Loco. Oh! Oh no! He rolled, got on the rut and rolled it over. Hello, Grave Digger. We're gonna just land it right on top of you. Well, he could probably win. Or did he even get scored? I don't even know if it got scored. Yeah, I don't even know if it got scored or not. Did I, I don't know if he did get scored. He might not have. Yeah, here comes Travis Mornery. And this, uh, this very uh, questionable. This thing looks pretty bad. This thing, this Jurassic attack might be besides the uh, first one. Or really the one that they ran in Europe. 
Besides that one, this thing looks pretty hideous. Not gone. This thing looks weird and hideous. Nice start, though. Yeah, as you guys know, tra or um, rather, Jurassic Attack was um, run by Don Frankish for many years. Decade, at least. Nice start! Nice air! Travis Monry in the Jurassic Attack. Uh, yeah. John Frank has starred this team up in the late 90s, I think. Lindsey Wing drove this thing for many years. Flying guys are to move on, and it has had a revolving door driver. It's like, God, Gary Shaw Jr., uh, Junior, Senior, I don't know, and uh, the name. And uh, Chris Yedge and many others have driven this truck. Kind of been gone, it's kind of been in and out of Machia for a while. It's still been in a lot of merchandise. And it's a really popular truck, but uh, this one, though, this truck. Eh, don't really like this thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Joe, going by how he's run so far, I think, um, I think, uh, he probably could get the lead if he just fills the clock at this point. That's all I, if he just, like, fills out the clock and has a full run, he could probably fill this. And he's gonna be the first one to go for the backflip. All three trips are broken, but can he land the backflip? Nice. Nice landing. They weren't taking any chances of trying to do a double overall. Oh, nice! Aaron, nice run. Travis Monnery in the Jurassic Attack. He's going for even more air. Nice start. He's gonna. Oh, almost got up off down. Uh, I, uh, uh, without the start going, I don't know if I'm gonna try. Okay, until you can get an actual start. Nice little donut to end off. Will be the lead because he's the first one to fill the clock, unlike the other three incompetent people. But um, yeah, there he is, Travis Monterey. Give him a nice round of applause, and that will most definitely get the lead because he filled up the clock. They're not showing the scores off though, which is a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of angry, so because I can't tell at all what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I'll find out whatever who won. So by far, if I can't figure it out here, I'll definitely find out who uh, won this one in the um at the end of this video. Here comes Josh Gordon in bad company. Out. Nice start. This is the, uh, I just found, I found out that they're actually running, this is a different paint scheme that they're running compared to what they usually do. I don't know if this is going to be for the whole season or just, um, this series of runnings, but, um, overall, wow, that, that's some nice air right there. They got on two wheels for a second. Still, uh, going well, and he might be trying to do something here. Overall, now, I don't know if the momentum's been definitely hit or miss at certain points, but uh, getting the nice air will uh, be a major thing. And this is Josh Gordon on the back coming. You can tell about the gunslinger thing in the back, and he's gonna absolutely floor it across the tabletop. No, overall, doing a nice job. You know, I, I, oh, uh, hello, uh, Ryan, Ryan, Todd the Duke. Yes, they're running that track this weekend because it's used to it. But, uh, and. The way this dirt's been set up, it can definitely be a truck killer in rolling you over. But, um. You can, uh, it can definitely be something. It'd be good. Oh, I didn't even realize it was a backflip ramp there. He lands it, though. I didn't even realize it was a backflip ramp. We'll go off the edge. A little bit of a cockeyed hit. He's gonna continue on. And now I think that may have definitely uh, got Josh. Uh, so definitely need points. And he might now with this be getting close to that lead. Oh, did he break the wheel off? No, he didn't break the wheel off. He's definitely damaged the truck for sure. Uh oh. It, oh. Hello, Todd. <laughs> Backs right into Todd. And he's gonna end up, and he did. See, we're still not gonna find out who has a lead or not. Here comes a uh, wasted knight, Brandon Bud. Finally, find out who drove the truck. 
Like, took me a week because I have no brain cells. Pop, that's that out again. Uh, yeah. This truck looks like they recycled the, um... Oh, and he stopped. Did he get shut off? He hasn't even hit anything. And he got shut off. Wow, it broke before he can even get there. So this is about to be one of those shows where we're just going to have... It's going to be a attrition night show. Like uh, RN10 2010. For any old school show. Now here comes Lindsay Reed out in my instrument Dalmatian. Nice start. Been out of monster trucks for the last two years. Having a nice, beautiful baby girl. And a nice wheelie there. And uh, last weekend, Arlington and Shaw saw her get back into the truck and um, attempt to backflip, and it just failed. Didn't even get enough rotation in a glorious and hilarious way. It fell over. And that's probably still one of the funnier moments that might be from this. She won, whether or not you think she deserves it or not, from the uh, World Host 20. Uh, you guys can decide that for yourselves. Um, yeah, she's back and driving Monster Hunt. Not, oh boy, got a little bit of. Definitely not the best of landings, but. It's still going wrong. There might be a little bit of rear sway bar damage, just a little bit. You can tell the truck's leaning over a bit. Nice air! That's a nice air right there. She's definitely not able to keep as much momentum, say, as like bad company or um, others like that. And why did she get shut off? What even happened? That's it. Okay, she'll probably get scored, but that's not going to be the lead. I don't think. All right, here we go. Here comes one I'm a bit excited about. Here comes Todd LaDuke in the Rod Ryan truck. No, no. Rod Ryan is a, I believe, radio station. Or a show on a radio station. In, uh, in Houston, LaDuke gets a nice start right now. One, two wheel skills last league in the Blue Thunder. Had an opportunity to, um, um, do a spell on the freestyle, but broke early on. A planetary just continued to go on, basically almost on three wheels, spinning. This week, he's got the Rod Ryan sponsorship on with him. This Rod Ryan's been around the monster truck. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice start. Oh, we'll control. Um, it's definitely a Rod Ryan, uh, Sponsorship's been around for a long time as he's just going to be continuing to air this out. Yeah, they started sponsoring in 2010. They've been sponsoring a lot of times since. Definitely, they love doing this on Monster Jam. Now, LaDuke's going to go a long way here, and I think he's going for the backflip early. You've got to definitely do something different. And he's going to do it from the other side, get it back early. Nice landing for LaDuke. Now that the truck will stay together, he can definitely put it in the ballpark. Yeah, Todd the Duke ran Blue Thunder his first year out. Then got the Mountain Lesher truck with Brian Deegan for many years. Had the famous LeDuke leap in 2014 that he since started doing many other times. It has become a meme now. Thanks for watching. And, uh... Wow, now that, I don't know if that was close to the little Duke lead, but that is definitely some major elevation. And that is the little Duke lead that I'm talking about. That is great. Great air from Todd LeDuke. And he might be going for the lead now. He's just been more been airing this thing out. All around the time. Duke's still spinning, and I think he's going to try and get... Don't die! Nice! On the lid. And that will end the run. Tyler Duke definitely got it in the ballpark. If he can win this or not. Yeah, yeah. Here comes Bryce Kenny now. A great clip small warrior. I don't know why there's smoke randomly going around there. That, that's a little weird. Yeah, nice star right there. Bryce Kenny almost won. Um in Arlington, whether or not that should have been observed or not. Uh, once again, you can tell my opinion on it. Yeah, here comes Bryce McKinney in the Mohawk Warrior. Very many eyes, it looks like. 
At least I don't have to get a knife shave. Yep. So right now, you'll see definitely who has the lead on throughout the freestyle things, because I'll be putting... I apologize for the noise. But yeah, but that's right now. And, uh, no. Something like that. Wrap it. Nice air, nice start. I think definitely what we're gonna probably see here definitely is a backflip will definitely be favored. But um, the big thing though that I think I'm looking at is also the uh, nice air. That that's some nice air right there. Landing on top. So uh, yeah, overall, Mark Weir started from the S lane side. George Bell had years ago. And that's also on level with almost a little Duke Clee. Nice run for Bryce Kinney in the Mohawk Warrior. Started a long time ago from George Bellhead in 2005. Ah, he almost did it. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's going to continue on going. But, um, yeah, started from uh, the Escalade, George Bellhead. Then in uh, 2010, Fell made this thing uh, the Mohawk Warrior. And it's been writing for years now, officially. Done. Been under Bryce Kenny for a while, and then it's some even more air. I tell you, Bryce Kenny's going to be going for that lead here. If he can land this backflip, he's going to be going for the lead here. Or does he even go for the backflip at this point? He's definitely got some great momentum going. Definitely a good run. Hit there, and it'll be a huge guy wheelie. Oh, in trouble! He's in trouble! Oh, he almost could have saved it. Oh, big fire! Big time fire. In the truck. That thing's in flames. I actually might be more of the exhaust, but it's still on fire. This girl is on fire! Okay, I'm gonna stop now. You wanna get copyright because of that? But yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. You guys know what time it is. It's time for the Dennis Anderson imposter, aka his own son. I don't know why this becoming a thing as well. Why they're doing this with like, why are all of the great bigger drivers trying to make themselves look like Dennis? No one can look like Dennis Anderson. I'm sorry. No one can. That's just me, but no one can. Not even your own children can. Please don't get offended if you ever end up coming across this. Adam once again doing a nice lap around. Tell this definitely a different type of great bigger chassis. Of course, has been at this game for more than a decade and a half. Oh my god, you gotta be freaking serious. It really broke after one. Oh my god, this is one of those shows. It's one of those shows, ladies and gentlemen, where it's gonna be attrition. It's officially gonna be attritionized to win this. Yeah, that's it. Now I got your score. Congratulations. All right, so here comes uh, Corey Rommel and the uh, McLennan on the Rage chassis, I believe. And uh, yeah, you can tell by the damage to this thing. It definitely rolled over, either in racing or two-wheel skills. But, uh, yeah. Also, I'm not sure one racing on both. We'll be getting one racing and two-wheel skills, even though I said already he won two-wheel skills. Does that count now? I start with Corey Rummel. I think right now the best thing you can do is just um, make it a safe. Uh oh. The loft tire. Oh, he broke it, didn't he? Yeah, he broke the tr. Oh, no, it didn't. It just got really cocky kind of to the top. Alright. Oh, that might have broken something. Corey Rummel. Do it when you can. And that's some great air. And when considering how much your truck could be damaged, you might be going that. And there goes the entire shark body. It's just the shark head at this point. Nice. Very close, but not quite to a demonetization level. But, uh, yeah. And that might perfectly. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the smoke, because that is not a normal spot. It's not just coming out of the back. That's coming out of the, uh, Backside. 
Oh my! That was not a fun landing. Yeah, there's something definitely in the engine that's going away. And uh, yeah, it's uh, oh, that thing is burning up. That, I think it's a train, bro. That looks like a transmission. It just like died, and yeah, it caused a major landing or a head on the landing that was probably not a fun experience at all for Corey Rummel. So ultimately, won't be the lead. And now we have only one truck left at this point. So yeah, this show has been a major uh, crap in the bucket. And uh, yeah, can Ryan Anderson save the show or will he fall victim to the horrifyingness that's been in this show? This is already a definitely making a run for one of the worst shows. So that's Rod Ryan um, and Bad Company, I think. Maybe my, I don't know, Monster Hunter Exclamation also has run into disappointingly. Everybody else either had an issue or have rolled over. Yeah, this is definitely not good so far. Don't make a candidate for show of the year, Ryan Anderson King Singles. Here we go. It's son of a digger time. Ryan Anderson's out. Hopefully the truck won't break. There's a Megalodon off the side, you can tell. Nice air, nice star for Ryan Anderson in the son of a digger. You guys know Ryan lost his brother Adam, so the legendary Dennis Anderson. Also tried following his dad's style, which I have no reason why. And uh, yeah, this is uh, somebody made famous, the Moonwalk. I think he just ordered it up. Stop you, Wheelie. Nice way. Did you just break a plant? Did he break a planetary? Are you freaking serious? He brought he seriously break the planetary? Whatever he did, if he did, it's not stopping him at all. Ends in the biggest air of the night. Yeah, Ryan Anderson, uh, World Funnel uh, 12, one of the best backflips ever to this day. Perfect landings. And it took him a while to win a racing and freestyle championship, all up to five, to six, five and six years. I thought I was able to do it. And now that, whoa! That's a major error off the racing lane jump. He's definitely keeping up good momentum. There we go. Oh, no! He absolutely killed the truck. He rammed it right into that backflip ramp and destroyed it, and Ryan Anderson has fallen victim to this course as well. This has been one of those truck killer courses, and uh, yeah, this show officially can go down to here as not good. Thanks, Fell. Thanks for that. But uh, yeah, there it is. Ryan Anderson giving a nice round of applause for Ryan Anderson for what he could do. Definitely a good run until he broke it. Not going to win it. Question is, um, who did? Yes, yeah. This was a, this is bad. Score to beat. Wow, Jurassic De Attack has had this lead the entire time. A nine boy, five, one, eight. Really? Todd and bad, I guess the bad company in it. Third, 9.013. It's not enough. Jurassic Attack and Travis Mowry is your winner. Well, this is a shock. I was thinking LeDuc's run was good enough. LeDuc must have gotten second. That's what must have happened. Todd LeDuc must have gotten second. Yeah, fell just short. Question is. Yeah, the question is, uh, who won the, uh, who won the actual, uh, event championship? Specifically, who won the race? So I can find out. The end of this. Huh? All right, there it is. Yeah, there's our freestyle winner, Jurassic Attack, 12 points. But whoever won this is your racing champion. So it is Ryan Anderson because he got third. So Ryan Anderson, I think, won racing. Got second in skills. Yeah, it is Ryan Anderson. Your winner, overall event winner, is Ryan Anderson. He won racing. Yeah, son of a digger, powered by Hoonigan. Ryan Anderson is your overall event winner. One racing, second in skills, third in freestyle. Nice. And, uh, yeah. There it is. Ryan Anderson is your winner. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this absolute pile of crap show. Like, uh, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, hit the bell for notifications so that uh, you guys can notify for all my videos. Because that's how most of the time you can view my videos. Because YouTube hates me. Anyways, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, see you guys next time.